This I wanna nail sports to the one Top vlog at top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful sports to the bone family What's up, what's up Welcome back, welcome back to another video Hope you guys are doing okay Alright my viewers and subscribers So we have a couple of things to talk about in this one We see where we still this they were actually penalized once again for slow over rate. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Plus, we're going to take a look at a couple of the West Indies players that are all set to take part in, take part in the BBL. That's the Big Bash League over there in Australia. No, all the squads, the squads are all but confirmed. So I am able to go through now and let you guys know all the players that will be taking part whether or not they're going to get games or not you know they are there in the squad so we're going to take a look at all of them all right my peeps plus we're going to finish off with a little bit of um housekeeping as it relates to the sports to the bone channel here all right so let's get straight into it my viewers and subscribers so we're going to start off with the um with the with the west indies and you know they have been charged once again for slow over it so i am actually taking this article from um from a website here and they are saying that west indies find for slow over it in third odi defeat to new zealand so you could almost call this rubbing salt in the wound yeah man so the article starts and it says west indies have been fined and hit with a world cup super league points deduction for maintaining slow overrate in Sunday's third ODI defeat to New Zealand, right? The International Cricket Council has announced. So we did not only lose the game, we actually lost points. Our point, we lost a point, my viewers and subscribers, from the Super League um, table. This is not looking good. Now, the article goes on and it says, Nicholas Puran's side fell in a 2-1 series defeat on home soil with a narrow six-run loss um, in Sunday's decisive third meeting. As Kyle Mayers hit uh, 105, this we already know, the second highest ODI score of his um, career, right? Now, they say West Indies will also be deducted, West Indies will also be deducted two points from their Super League tally after being adjudged to have fallen two overs short of the target by Anfield umpires. Boy, I tell you, this not look good, my viewers. This not look good at all. It says, an ICC statement read, and I quote, West Indies have been fined 40% of their match fee for maintaining a slow over rate against New Zealand. In the third and final ODI in Barbados on Sunday. Went on to say in accordance to Article 2.22 of the ICC Code of Conduct for Players and Player Support Personnel, which relates to minimum overrate reference, players are fined 20% of their match fees for every over their side falls to for every overs. Their side fails to bowl in the allotted time. Went on to say, in addition, as per Article 16.12 of the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup Super League playing conditions, a side is penalized one point for each over short. Consequently, West Indies will lose two points from their points tally during the Super League. Now, Puran pleaded guilty to be to the offence and accepted the uh, the proposed sanction, so there was no need for formal hearing. They say West Indies are currently seventh in the Super League standing, having posted um, June wins from their twenty four games after the New Zealand recorded successive wins over Puran side. So. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, not looking good at all, not looking good. Um, we went there to try and, well, we went up against New Zealand to see if we could try and win points. And we are coming away with salt being rubbed in the wound, having lost the series and 
now hearing that we are losing Super League points. Points are very hard to come by, but you know, we are losing them. It is what it is, my viewers, it is what it is. We just have to go on, hold on, pun it and hope that um, things will work out. But I just want to them think them are peeps. All right. So we're going to talk about the Big Bash League that is coming up, right? And we know that is the big T20 League over there in Australia where we'll see teams like Adelaide Strikers, Brisbane Heat, Hobart Hurricanes, Melbourne Renegades, Melbourne Stars, Perth Scorchers, Sydney Sixers, and Sydney Thunder. Quite a few top players are expected to take part in this league. You understand? Um, majority of the players will be taken from the Australian um, local leagues, but a couple of top players from outside of Australia expected to take part. And we have a couple of West Indian players that will be there. So I'm just going to go through and let you hear the West Indian players that are expected to play and the teams that they are going to be playing for. Alright, so a couple of the teams there don't have any West Indians in there. Um... The, the the countries that have quite a few of play, quite a few players countries like England and Afghanistan have quite a few so the Melbourne Stars is the first team that we're going to take a look at and we have one West Indies player there and that is the West Indies white ball captain Nicholas Puran he's going to be taking part in the league there and will be representing the Melbourne Stars right um the next team with a west indian would be the sydney sixers yeah man the sydney sixers and carlos brathwaite remember the name carlos brathwaite will be playing for the um for the for the for the sydney sixers right so that is two so far Sydney Sixers, um, Carlos Bratwaite and Nicholas Poor and two so far my viewers and subscribers. Now the next uh, West Indies player that I'm seeing here. Um, well, those are the ones that I'm seeing but I'm almost certain that we have a couple more there. So we're probably going to have to do another video when, when they put out the rest of the information because I'm almost certain that we're going to have more people. But Carlos Brathwaite, um, Carlos Brathwaite, Nicholas Puran, and I, I'm almost certain that Andre Russell is there also. You know, we, we're, going, we're going probably take a look at it again to make sure that we give you guys everybody. But those are a couple of the names that I am seeing so far under, under, the, under the, the, the team. So, yeah. Hopefully by now on the end of the, the week or so. I can give you guys some more information. But yeah. That is, those are a few of the players that are expected to step out and to represent my peeps. And um, you know, we, we are definitely looking looking forward to the league, you know. We are always saying that we don't really want T twenty cricket to take over and we don't really want franchise cricket to dominate and and, and outshine international cricket, but once quality cricket is being played, we are going to take a look at it, man. What are you talking about? Once the cricket is being played and we are cricket lovers, we're going to definitely take a look at it, my peeps. So, um, those are a couple of the players there. As I said, a couple more players are, are supposed to be there, man. People like, I think, um, Bravo and, and, and Pollard and those guys, if I'm not mistaken, will be taking part. So, um... Don't quote me as yet, my peeps. I'm going, I'm going to make sure that I organize up everything and see what's going on there. I was actually on the, on the website there where they had the, the teams listed and the players. And those are the ones that I saw underneath it. But I'm thinking we might have a couple more. But yeah, um, that is basically it, my viewers and subscribers. So just to touch up on the housekeeping that we were talking about, uh, my peeps, I know you guys are waiting for us to have a live to discuss um, the series. We didn't get a chance to really discuss the India series. Didn't get a chance to discuss the New Zealand series. But, um, you know, I am trying to work things around so we can at least um, have a live for at least one hour, my viewers and subscribers. You know, um, it's, it's pretty hectic in terms of, 
you know, getting work done and then putting in the videos and the lives and things. But definitely going to be working on it so I can give you guys an opportunity to come and, 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 and talk, right? Because you know how we do it here on Sports to the Bone, you know. We try to give the videos and also um, come with the live show so you guys can get an opportunity to um, to, to vent when, when needed and to congratulate West Indies players when needed. So go and big up on yourself until later, my peeps. I'm out.